When I started, you know, water management was one of the big things that, you know, getting feedback, you know, we have too much in the spring or fall and then we run out during the summertime and, and really, you know, when we go to looking at improved drainage water management, you know, there's a risk for nitrate losses and so on and so forth. But we've implemented practices that, you know, can minimize the nitrate loss by regulating water flow. Where we're sub-irrigating, put water back through, you know, soybean yields are increasing around 28 percent, corn over 40 percent. It's that, that crop is, is our main focus and I don't think anyone wants to, you know, lose an investment and that's basically what we're, our focus is, is maximizing the return on that, uh, that, uh, that investment. So the first thing, you know, if somebody calls, it's like, what soil type are you dealing with, okay? The soils, you know, affect everything. They affect, you know, that internal drainage, you know. These in particular are clay pan soil, you know. It depends on how deep that clay layer is as to how intensive those systems are and how effective they may work as well. And I guess the other thing is we've been doing drainage water recycling. Okay, so that nitrate or phosphorus is draining off of that field. We capture that into a reservoir or lake that's on the farm, okay, and then we can use that for irrigation purposes later. And so it's more of a, 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 a recycling process. So we're pulling up the slides, okay, in the springtime prior to prior to planting, okay, so we can dry out that soil profile, okay. Um, that's important when it comes to warming of the soils, okay, and stand establishment is really critical too. The other thing is if we have saturated soils, we may have denitrification, gas loss issues, okay. Now, as soon as that crop's established, okay, um, again, usually we're targeting around mid-June, we'll start putting these slides down, okay. It's basically just a, a, a small little slide, okay, they're bigger ones in the field, that uh, just goes down, it blocks the flow, okay, and uh, we can then, I call it uh, water conservation mode, and uh, at, at a point in time where he it looks like we need to start adding water back to it. We can actually sub-irrigate through these systems too, depending upon the landscape. So we, we typically get a lot of questions on drainage water management and the practicality of it on sloping soils. And one of the technologies that we can utilize to help make it more cost effective is a water gate, okay? So there are three water gate structures installed as we move up the slope to the next water level control structure that you see in the background. And uh, that water level control structure, we can manually adjust the water table using it, and then it, le it affects the water level in this water gate, okay? And as that water level rises, okay, the float comes up and it reduces the amount of flow that comes through this unit and we can stair step about every one foot change in, in elevation, we install another water gate structure. 